In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Squarespace domain to Wix. So this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. And if you follow this step-by-step -step and click where I do, you'll have your domain connected in no time. So what we need to do is we first need to log into Wix. And once you've logged in, you'll be taken to this dashboard where you can see all of your different websites you've got created. Now it's important to note to connect a domain, you need to have a premium plan on that website. So I've bought a premium plan for this Grow Today website that I just use for YouTube tutorials. So we're going to click here, select and edit site, and that will take us into the Wix backend or our dashboard. Now from here, you may see add a domain here, but if not, just go to the top of the page, click connect domain, which should be on this bar at the top. So click connect domain, and then it will load up this window and it will ask you to connect a domain. So this is what it will look like when you haven't connected any domain yet. So now you need to go ahead and enter in your domain here. So I'm gonna now go to Squarespace. I've logged in already. So if I go to my profile icon, then go to domains, we'll be taken to our domain dashboard. Now from here, we can click on the domain and I'm just gonna simply copy it here. So we'll copy this domain. We'll then go back to Wix and I'll type www. and then simply paste in my domain. Now we'll click let's go and Wix should then recognize that this domain has already been registered. So you can see knowledgebasedvideo.com is taken. Is it yours? Well, yes, we own this through Squarespace. So we're gonna click here, yes, I own this domain. Then it's going to find the domain provider. Now, sometimes this does find Squarespace. Sometimes it doesn't recognize that you've bought it with Squarespace. It doesn't really matter though, because we still have to follow the same instructions. So. How long does it take to connect a domain? It takes us five minutes. And if you watch this tutorial, it will take you even less than that. The time it takes for the domain to connect and be fully working though, is up to 48 hours. It's usually between 24 and 48 hours. So go ahead and read these if you want to, but I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Just note though, once you've completed all of these steps, you may have to wait up to 48 hours for your domain to be 100% connected. So click start, and then it's going to ask you to log into your domain provider. If you're following this video, you may already be logged in to Squarespace, and you may already be on the back end of your domain. So I've already logged in, and I've already found my domain settings page. So now it's going to ask you to locate your name servers, and it's going to show you a current list of your name servers. So on Squarespace, we need to go ahead and go to DNS, and then under DNS settings, you want to go domain name servers. Then it should show you a list of all of your name servers. Now we can go ahead and just go through these steps again. And it's gonna say, find your current name servers, which we've just found them. So click, I found the name servers. Right, so now it's gonna say, on your domain provider's site, replace your current name servers with the Wix name servers below, one at a time. So we need to remove any other existing name servers. We need to remove all of these, and we need to just add these two name servers. Now this is easier then it looks, I don't know why they make it so complicated, but here's what you do. You go to Squarespace, you're already on your domain name servers. You then need to click use custom name servers and you just need to go ahead and paste in the two name servers from Wix here. Go ahead and copy the first one and then paste it in. And for some reason it's saying it's already connected, which is a lie. So we're gonna go back and it's gonna find the domain again. And we just need to then paste in the second name server. Okay, so here's the second name server, which we can copy. Now we'll go back and we'll paste that here and we can now click save. Okay, so now we should just have two custom name servers which have been provided by Wix. Now we can go and click here where it says I've replaced my name servers and it's then gonna verify the connection and it's gonna look for the name servers that you've just added and if all good, it's gonna say connection successful. So there we go, your part is done. So this domain has now been connected. All we need to do now is you need to wait. So you need to wait between 24 and 48 hours. Once you wait, your domain will be connected. So just keep checking it and it will work eventually. You can try it now. So I'll go to knowledge base and it currently isn't working. It's currently going to a redirect I set up for a different video, but just be patient. As long as you've added those two name servers and this is what your backend looks like, it will work. Just wait up to 24 to 48 hours. It says until then, your site may not be available at all. You can track your domain connection status on the domains page. So you can see domain check and the domain is connecting, which will take some time. So that's how you do it. 
I hope that did help you out.